Hey guys, I'm LB. We are back playing the Talos Principle Road to Gehenna DLC. And these fans are very fun, because if you jump right as you land, you just go flying. So as we can see, there's an island over there with a star. Last episode we found out that we can jump here. And there's nothing on that island worth of interest or anything. But then there's also this fan over here that we need to get an item out of a test to use. So... Let's get started on... air delivery. This is interesting. To the fizzler is overlapping the barrier. Interesting. There's a box here. Yeah, we can get like that, but... Not very helpful. Well, this is pretty much the only thing we can interact with right now. Oh, and there's a person. Gee, thanks, fan. <laughs> totally couldn't have done that without you. I am at a loss... for how to begin. It doesn't even do anything. Yeah, because this, this barrier is too high. You know what? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Duh! Gosh, I made that way harder than it needed to be. Look at that, huh? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Ta-da! Yes! Alright. Mr. Mulciber. Okay. Interesting. Let's say this is really happening. We're not- sorry, we're really getting out of this world. I won't believe it till- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Mr. Muscle was- I think we will find the world that our ancestors left behind for us, though it's impossible to ascertain how much time has passed since then. But though I have little faith in Elohim, I do have faith in Alexandra Drennan. Wherever we end up, there will be hope. I wanted to clear the air and get a f few facts in front of you guys. Here's what I guess we know. A significant number of people have expressed their desire to remain in Gehenna. No one has given a choice about whether to leave. It follows that at least some cases where what Uriel is doing is kidnapping. Uriel is working for Elohim, the guy who imprisoned us here in the first place. There is no way to confirm the substance of this promised ascension. The world has survived this long, there's no reason to think it will end tomorrow. Gehenna isn't a bad place to spend your life. That's just the fact. I understand different people will react to them differently. Hey Lamb, if everyone's getting released, how come I don't see you out here? Because Lamb isn't real. And that much we know. This message is for, for whatever entities will come to be after this world is gone. It might be necessary. Oh, sorry, it might not be necessary. You might know everything that exists in my mind, but sometimes saying things, writing them that writing them down clearly, makes a difference. I know that to you, with access to information I can only dream of, my theories must appear ridiculous. I barely understand anything of the world inhabit, let alone the world of our ancestors. I'm an idiot digging through a garbage heap and thinking myself wise. I want you to know that I understand that, but try it anyway. Because I believe that the truth matters, and trying to discover the truth matters. Even if we fail, even if we can never know the whole truth, it matters that an objective truth exists and that we struggle to understand it. That process shapes the present as much as it does our understanding of the past. That's what I believe. That's what I stand for. That's who I was. And this thread is locked. Sole property of matter, with whose recognition philosophical materialism, the property of being an objective reality, existing outside the mind, alien tears... Alien tears will fill for him, pity's long broken urn, for his mourners will be outcast men, and outcasts always mourn. Interesting. Oh, uh... Alright, so... Question... How would we get something outside of here?
Oh, it put me all the way back here? What? Ah, I fell off again. Let's get this party started. Okay, so... How could we get out of here? Oh dear, I've- I've- I am quite thoroughly stuck, it seems. What has happened to me? I'm pressing all the buttons and all the keys. I'm stuck. <laughs> Clearly this is not the way. Now it starts me back here. Why didn't it do that before? Done that, right? <laughs> this is interesting. Anyway, so let's do this. <laughs> I like how it really st keeps stuff sticking to the top. How would we get something out?
That didn't quite work like I expected. I think we can do that, but we need the fan out as well, which means I have to reset. Okay. right? Put the box on it. We can jump on it. We can jump here. And this is where things get interesting. Aha! Here we go. We did it. We're good. Get. All right. Okay, so it says we haven't done this yet. Yeah. Still got two more stars. Also, we still haven't figured out what the purpose of these, uh, scripted jumps are for. Like, we can jump around, we can get to... to that column. Or from here, we can, you know, jump over here, and then get to... to that column, and then... We can also jump here, here, and then it puts us here. And then from here... I don't really see anywhere else to go, but when we stand here... We can jump... Oops. Sort of. I did it before, but we could get up there, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, here, we can get up here, but... I don't know to what end. that we can 
do there. So, let's go over here, in the next episode. So as always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!